Hello, hope you are doing good. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use Email Octopus. It is one of the best email marketing platforms around for small businesses and also freelancers. All you'll need to do once on emailoctopus.com, you can simply enter your email address and tap on start for free. On the Email Octopus free plan, you'll be able to add 2,500 subscribers and you'll also be able to send 10,000 emails per month. Keep in mind that your emails on the free plan will be branded by Email Octopus, but if you want to remove the branding and if you want to create unlimited landing pages, you could go onto their paid plan. Their paid plan starts off at $8 per month. But on the free plan, you'll be able to create up to three landing pages and forms. So to get started, let's tap on Get Started for Free. After you have tapped on Get Started for Free, you will be redirected to a new page on which you are going to enter your email address and some basic information. Then you are going to be redirected to this page and I want you to tap on Choose below Starter. After you have done that, you are going to be redirected to this page and you are going to fill in some basic information. For example, your first and last name, your company name, and then you can also add your website URL. For this example, I simply added a Shopify website URL. If you don't have a website, you could add your Facebook page link or your Twitter link or your LinkedIn profile link. Then you are going to scroll down and you are going to choose an industry. Then you can choose the industry that you are in. So you'll see numerous options right here. So let's say for example, I were to select e-commerce and retail. Let me tap on that. Then you'll see the option how you heard about them. That is optional. I'm going to tap on next in the bottom right hand corner. Once you have done that, you will see you will need to include a physical address in your emails to comply. So you are going to add a physical address right there. So let's do that real quick. Once you have added a physical address, you will be redirected to this dashboard. And from here, you will be able to start sending some emails. You can see at the moment they are reviewing my account. So let's simply tap on that. And then if you would like to create a landing page, all you have to do is tap on landing page and forms. Then you could tap on create. And remember on the free platform or better yet on the free account, you'll be able to create three landing pages. So let's create our first landing page. I'll simply name it test. So let's do that real quick. Then we'll tap on create. After tapping on create, you'll be redirected to this page. And from here, you can add contacts. So I'll simply tap on add contacts. Then from there, I'll add a single contact. Then after doing that, you can enter the email address. So let me do that real quick. Then you're going to scroll down and tap on add. After adding your contacts, all you'll need to do now, you can scroll down. You can see that my contact has now been added. So all I will need to do again is tap on landing pages and form, going to tap on create once more. Then you will see the option landing page form. I'm going to tap on create for landing page. Then after doing that, I'm going to tap on save and next. Then from here, you can see the different landing page templates. All you have to do is choose one that you like. So let's say, for example, this one right here. After you have tapped on the landing page, you will now be able to edit it. To make any changes, let's say I would like to change the text right here. You could simply tap in the text box. Then you could type in the text that you would like to add. As you can see right here, let me do that real quick. Let's say I wanted to add simple answers. I can do that. I can also change the font size if I want. All I would have to do is highlight the font. Then you can see the different font options right there. So I could bold the font, tap right here, and I could change the font size. So let's say I want to change it to 30. And you can make any changes you want. You can remove a text box or you could edit the text box. 
and also right here if you would like to add more you can do that so you can see right there the subscribe button you could change that if you want if you would like to add more fields for example you like to request their first name you could do that as you can see right there by simply tapping on it another thing that we could do if you would like to add text you could add another text box if you would like to add an image let's say we'd like to add an image right there we could simply drag and place the text box right the image box right there better yet and you'll be able to add an image it is as simple as that once everything is finished and to your liking all you will need to do now as you can see right there it is currently finished once everything is finished and to your liking all you'll need to do is scroll back up and you could tap on publish in the top right hand corner so let's tap on publish real quick once you have tapped on publish you can tap on open and you will now see your landing page as you can see right here and you could copy the url and you will be able to share it on social media and if you would like to do any form of editing you can do that you could simply tap on edit and you'll be able to edit it now if we wanted to create a form let's tap on landing pages and form again then we'll tap on create then we're going to tap on form and we'll tap on create right there after doing that you are going to see the different form templates so let's say for example i like to create a pop-up i'm going to tap on pop-up then tap on save and next then from here you will choose a template that you would want for your pop-up so let's say for example i want this pop-up right here I'm going to simply tap on it after doing that you can now edit it so if you'd like to change the text all you have to do is tap in the text box as you can see right here if you would like to add another field to this section you could simply tap right there if you would like to request their first name you could do that by tapping on first name as you can see right there or if you would like to add a new tag you could do that right there if you would like to change the color of the button you can also do that by simply tapping right where you see color right here you can see the background color i could change it so let me scroll down and show you real quick so let's say i would like to change it to some form of blue i can do that as you can see right here let's close this so you can see the changes you can see that the button has now changed to blue you can also change the style by tapping on style so i could change the background color if i wanted to so you could tap right there you could change the background color let's say i wanted to change it to green all i would have to do is tap on green right there then you can see that the background color has also changed and if you would like to change the settings any settings so let's say you would like to change this you can simply change the thanks for subscribing you could change that text right there or if you would like to redirect them to a new page after they have subscribed you could do that by tapping on redirect to a new page now that i've shown you how to create landing pages and forms using email octopus let's go back so we want to go back to the main dashboard so i'll tap on leave right here after tapping on leave the next thing that we're going to be doing is tapping on campaigns right here after tapping on campaigns i'll show you how to create your first email campaign so you are going to tap on create a campaign after tapping on create a campaign from here you'll simply add the sender name so you'll see sending from then you can add your email address right there after doing that you can add the subject and the preview text after adding the subject and the preview text you'll go over to the top right hand corner and you'll tap on save and next then from there you'll be able to add the content so let me simply fill in this real quick so i'll put fill in simple answers right here let me do that real quick so i'll fill in this so i'll simply add test test again right there i'm going to fill it in after i have done that i'm going to choose a list so let's say that list and I'll scroll back up, tap on save and next. Then from there, I'll tap on ignore at the moment. 
then you can see the different templates right here that you can use so you can see that they provide us with quite a few templates that you can choose from all you have to do is scroll down until you find a template of your liking and let's say for example this template all you have to do is simply tap on it once you have tapped on it again it is quite easy to edit you can tap on any section that you'd like to change and also if you would like to add any texts or for example images or videos all you have to do is go over to the left hand menu option and you can simply drag and place it onto the page then you'll tap on save and next and you could also send a test email if you want another thing that you can also do on email octopus is create automations so by tapping on automations from the top menu option we could tap on create an automation then we'll select the email list then tap on save and next once you have tapped on save and next you can see the different automation triggers that you can choose from you can see right there let's say contact added then i'll tap on save and close and right there i've now created an automation then i'll tap on the plus right there and you can select what action you would like to happen once a contact added to the list so for example if you would like to send them an email you could tap on send email then you could design the email if you would like to add another action before it is finished you could tap on the plus again and then from there you could select the other action then you will tap on start and that's it i hope that you have found this tutorial helpful and informative if you have be sure to hit the like button and subscribe